Hey everyone, in this video, I will show you how to set up StatBox. It has a lot of cool things like day, time, statuses, user count, and many more. But before that, I've noticed only 5.3% of you have subscribed to my channel. Make sure to subscribe to have a better chance of getting free Nitro. Now I've already made a detailed guide about StatBot video just a couple of days back. Make sure to check it out if you want to set up levels and other features. Now, back to the topic, you need to invite Stabot to your server. I won't go too much into detail about this, since I had already covered this part. Your second step is, keep the Stabot dashboard opened and log into it with your Discord account and open the StatDocs feature. This was the only feature we hadn't covered in our previous video because it needed a video of its own. Now run the help command. Also by the way, the commands will be available in the video's description. Anyway, after running this command, it will give info about its commands. So nothing new on this part. Now let's go ahead and run the StatDocs setup command. Here you will find some interesting buttons. I'll explain about means. It gives you info about the feature. Setup has three types, quick, custom, and advanced. Manage means it will edit your already created StatDocs, which will be needed later. Now we are starting off with setup. Let's go with quick, it will create three common voice channels, date, statuses of the members, and user count. And it's finally done. You can very well see everything. Surprising stuff is, it also detects members' status like online, idle, and DND. Anyway, we will go back to another command now. You just need to click back button and then set up. This time, let's do custom command and see what's different. Interesting features. Let's click member counters. Okay, so basically it gives you filters and members. Like if you want human member counter or bot counter or members with only online and so on. I'll pick status online. It means it will count members only with online status. I think it's quite interesting. and it has done its job. Now it has excluded bots by the way and only counted human members. Time counter is like countdown timer. I am not sure how to set up here, but I will show it to you in dashboard later. Now, what is server counters? I'm not a fan of this one. I mean, it's cool and creative, but it doesn't appeal to me because this thing counts your server channels and roles. If you are interested in using this, you can do it. It will create voice channels and mention the channel and role counts. Now let's go to StatBot dashboard and refresh it. You will find all the channels we created. Here you can edit every channel. Just click modify then edit and make any changes in it if you want. If you want to delete a channel, you can easily do it from there. The channel will be gone from your Discord server. Now I will teach you how to create a StatDoc here. No need to add name or text, just click Builder under Insert Counter. Here you will find many stat docs like User Count, Member Count. They also got Social Media Sub Count, but it falls under Premium. Anyway, let's do Countdown slash Timer. Since I gotta include one of the three, I will pick Minutes. I will type three minutes in that slot. But I don't understand the logic of this. I will let you know why. Now let's go to Presets and pick Countdown slash Timer again. Here, I will pick 24 hours from now. It has created a channel text for me. Now the frequency should be 10 minutes. And once everything is done, you can hit plus add stack doc. It will start creating a voice channel in your server. By the way, you can also drag these channels into another category. And you can even delete the channel from here directly, no need to go to dashboard. So yeah, that is it. Personally, I feel like setting up the StatDocs with commands was much easier than doing it in Dashboard. So yep, if you like this video, hit the like and subscribe button and try this feature out in your server.